all right guys we're back with another one and this is the battery life review of the lg v10 is it still worth it we got the lg v10 which i've been using this phone for over a year and i never did a battery life review because to be honest at battery life pretty much sucked on this phone but I have to be honest I haven't gave the phone a full chance because I've never tried the battery saver mode on the phone so I got it on right now and I'm gonna use the phone like I regularly use it I'm gonna probably hit up YouTube real heavy I'm gonna be using these headphones right here the red ants I'm gonna be using these Apple iPod ish looking Bluetooth headphones I'm gonna have the phone in and out in and out of Wi-Fi cellular connection T-Mobile's LTE connectivity I'm gonna use the phone I'm gonna go through my social networks stuff like that unfortunately I gotta work tonight and that's when I normally use my phone pretty heavy so this is gonna be between moderate to heavy use now in the past the phone couldn't get me through an eight-hour shift so let's see if the LG V10 can take me through a shift at work. So pretty much with that, let's get started with the LG V10 battery life review. All right, guys, so I'm on my break, about to head up to get some Dunkin' Donuts. We're at 1:26 a.m. and it's 77%. Um, been listening to SoundCloud, watching YouTube videos, keeping up with what's coming up on YouTube, and I gotta get a break. I need uh, three vanilla chais and uh, about a shot of espresso. Three vanilla chai. Put this shot of espresso on the side. On the side? Yeah. Separate? Yeah, separate. Two shots. Two shots? Yeah. What size? Large. All of them large. All right, so battery life going pretty good on the phone. 135, 75%. And yeah, yeah, we pretty much should get through the shift, man. This is going pretty good. So I got my vanilla chai. Shot of espresso. You guys got to try this. This is awesome. I'm listening to music, but I got to do a clip for you guys. So we're at... 48%, 613 AM, one hour, 46 minutes. I haven't been using the screen that much. So that's the screen. Well, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of stuff with the screen off, but I've been using the phone pretty, pretty heavy. Let's look at the idle time. Yeah, idle time, 7%. So it has been some idle time. All right, we'll get back into it. All right, the work shift is finally done, man. And we can get down to business. Let me put up the brightness on this. All right, where are we at? We're at, it's 7.56, so 8 a.m. in the morning, and we're at 17%, and everything is going pretty good. Um, I'm so glad battery saver feature made the V10 actually give some pretty good battery life so far Let's see how much screen time hours of screen on time and We're at 17% 757 8 a.m. We're going pretty good. It's definitely lasted me uh, my shift at work with around 20 or no, a matter of fact it was at 25 percent when i finished work and we're back at the home base listening to my headphones listening to my wireless headphones using this phone all night not the heaviest i've ever used the lg v10 but i would still say it was moderate to heavy use the v10 is still a powerful phone even after a year old Let's check out the battery life. So you can see YouTube, the camera. Let me cut off the camera app. YouTube Music, Google Plus, 
checking through my photos, doing all these different things. We got 6% of battery life and it's 851. So we basically gone about 10 hours with the phone. And normally my phone can't last the whole shift under my heavy to moderate usage. But this time it was a little bit more lighter, but it was still moderate to heavy use. And the LG V10 has hung around. So let's look at the screen on time. Still have it in power saver mode. Let's look at see what's going on. Three hours, eight minutes of screen on time. So this is not as much as I would normally take the phone through. But I would say if I try to go five hours of screen on time, this phone would have been dead. Maybe before the eight hour shift. But it lasted through. It had about 25% left. The LG V10 is still a powerful phone with its great cameras. With its great uh, microphones. Which gives you that nice stereo sound when you're recording video. It's a good phone. But I suffered with the battery life with this phone because it's not a battery beast at all. But if you want a good battery beast, you might want to get the LG V20. But the Android Dose feature definitely works. So if you're a very light or moderate user, you can get some great time because while the phone screen is off, the apps go a little idle and you can get that nice uh, standby time where it's not using battery at all. Very slim. In probably an hour, you probably lose 1% to 2% if the phone is left idle. That's pretty good. So it can still give good battery performance. But other than that, guys, the LG V10, under moderate to heavy use, three hours of screen on time, equates to about 10 hours of usage. This is not bad, but it's not the best. And it's hard to recommend it for the heaviest users. 10 hours of battery life? No. If you're a light user, if you're a definite moderate user, this phone can last you. But if you're a heavy user, I don't recommend the LG V10 at this point.